All right, if you have your first steps with the drum set book, go ahead and open up to page 28. What we're going to tackle here is playing eighth notes straight consecutively, you know, just looping steady eighth notes, one and two and three and four and on the hi-hat, okay? And we're going to uh, try to drop the snare drum on any of those 16th notes that we want, right? So in a bar of four or a measure of four, four time, you have 16 16th notes. That's the name, right? So you have one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. And you'll see on this page, we have four lines of four measures each. Four times four is 16, of course. So we're gonna keep steady eighth notes uh, in, on, in the hi-hat, most of you, that would be your right hand. Some of you, that would be your, your left if you play open. So you're going to keep steady eighth notes in the right hand, like this. One and two and three and four and. And we're going to work on putting that snare drum wherever we want it within that grid of eighth notes. So here's the first line, first measure. One and two and ready, play. Now, as we move uh, to the right, we move to the second measure, and you'll notice those repeat signs, so you can just work on that measure over and over. As you move to the second measure, you'll see written above it, one E end, written above the notation, right? So I, in lessons, I tend to call that playing in between the cracks, okay? You're playing in the cracks. Um, if the eighth note is like a graph paper where you have grid, you know, like a, a grid as, as you look through a book of graph paper, maybe for math class or something like that, um, the grid is always there. So in this exercise, the eighth note grid is always there on the hi-hat. What we're gonna do is put that snare drum in the cracks. So it's not gonna go on beat one, it's not gonna go on the and or two, it's gonna go on the E now. So it'll, it'll look like this. One E end. Kind of like you're playing a single stroke roll. All right, so here's that second measure, top line, second measure. One and two and ready, play. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now what I want you to do is go through all 16 of these until you're you're very comfortable uh, with, with placing that 16th kind of, almost like on command. Like you just should randomly be able to pick one and say, you know, go for it, do it. Like fourth line, uh, fourth measure. That would be on the uh, four E and a. Uh, that would sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two. And okay. And once that gets really comfortable at a multitude or multiple tempo tempos, <laughs> any tempo you want, what I want you to do that is go back and add the bass drum, put the kick drum on the quarter notes. Now th this isn't written, you know, in, in the sheet music uh, or, or in the book. But what I want you to do is put one, two, three, four on the kick, and then go back through all of them again. Okay, let's pick one at random. Uh, third line, second measure. Okay, that's going to sound like this. I'll start with the grid. Remember, it's not written, but we're adding the kick drum now. So here's our new grid. Third line, second measure will be on the E of beat three. That's where we're going to put the snare. One, two, ready. And don't forget to work at different um, volumes and different tempos uh, and work with a metronome and uh, play along with some music too. You know what I mean? You don't have to uh, make this a sterile kind of exercise. You can put on a song and if they're keeping kind of a steady four on the floor or a money beat kind of group, just go ahead and play these exercises along to it. All right, good luck. Have fun. Take it slow. Be patient with yourself and happy drumming.